Hello guys, this is Adam and this is the M5 MacBook Pro with 16GB uh, of RAM and we have the 10-core GPU and then the 10-core CPU so basically if we go to edit to preferences and maybe system we can see that we are using the full M5 GPU with the 10 cores. For the key maps let's do the industry standard a close and then here for the device we're gonna use GPU compute instead of uh, CPU. What I would like to see first let's see the viewport shading however that would be the material preview and then let's turn off the camera and maybe just move a bit okay wow oh Ooh. <laughs> okay that was i thought we might have a okay i genuinely thought we might have a little bit of like we are recording the screen and the reason i am recording the screen is that we're not gonna do any rendering so to speak today and if we do any rendering we would not take those numbers like to heart because mostly what i want to do is just see like how the viewport works and if we are inside a project that would work let's move a chair okay now oh, that is good then let's go to rendered let's see with rendered how it works okay with rendered it's tiny bit slower it's rendering and it's getting to where it needs to really quickly i don't see myself not working with this i don't think this is a bad experience by any chance let's just get more screen real estate hmm and we are moving let me try and yeah no if i move my stuff let's say i want to move that object right here then maybe move this object very back right there is that the maximum that i can zoom into okay here we go that's more like it i see then we can go to it right here huh no that's nice maybe you are watching and you're like the maya he was much better yeah because i mainly use maya so you know hang in there <laughs> as you are seeing some monstrosity for example now let's try this okay this is actually really cool oh i can do that that's nice okay so oh so since it's the industry standard now i can actually do things how i am used to with maya that's nice that's nice okay that's cool Maybe the controls now actually would be a bit better. Then let's try to rotate something. Wee wee. Okay, no, that that is actually quick. And for that, no problem at all. Now let's see if we want to render it. How long it take? Again, we're not taking those numbers to heart because we are recording the screen. However, let you know, let's experiment and see. And keep in mind, this is the first render as well so there is a high possibility that this is the kernel run so the second run would actually be faster than this okay so that took 44 seconds again we are recording the screen this is probably the kernel run let's go ahead and do it again just to see if without the kernel run are we gonna get a better number okay so that is the second one and the difference was like three seconds but again i am definitely not admitting those numbers let's go ahead and open something else so this is the second project i'm just gonna give myself some space so this is basically a waifu yes the only reason we are doing all of this is actually for the waifu i do not want the toolbar in here we are doing this we are doing the 3d all for the sake of waifus so this is what we are working with now of course you know the most important thing is that you want to check that opi parameters are working as they should so that's the most important thing so we did check that and as soon as we did check that we will be good to go and let's say for example you did model something in zbrush or sculpt it and then you bring it here you will be good to go or you even sculpt it with a blender which by the way this actually was sculpted with a blender can be happy this is working as it should now what i would like to do is let's go and then maybe see the material preview okay the material preview is nice and again it's going fast and there is no problem with that here probably it's gonna take a second because for example it will be using the optimized kernels as you can see on the top left we're gonna wait for it till optimizes and such but overall we can move and then for example let's say i want to position and make sure that the face and the opi are in accurate proportions because as you know body proportions are 
are very 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 important especially when you are making sliders for the most important aspect of your subject you do need to make sure that the proportions are correct because that's what you are working with and as we can see right here everything is in place now this definitely is gonna take some time and here <laughs> probably you can for example change it from this mode to sculpting mode or whatever that might be but I'm not gonna bother with that I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick render I'm not gonna let it like be done maybe I will wait till it hits like 20% or something just so we can get a better idea about how much time it would take for example to render a clay of a, such a high quality the memory and then the samples all of them are up top for you to take a look and maybe compare against something that you are having so basically we have the memory and then we have the beat. and then you have the sample count as well two minutes and we are already at 23% I think that is good is speed to get a clay out of the way now again we are talking about a base model m5 macbook pro we're not talking about a 3090 ti or a 5090 ti where this maybe would take a minute or less i would like to take a look at the clay but maybe with a bit more color so this is the same thing but with more color right now and as you can see definitely there is a lot of color and texture and it looks much better you can take a screenshot here i want to go to view i do not want the tool settings and then i do not want the toolbar as well because holy cow hate how much a blender is convoluted but this conversation is not about me it's just about how blender is working this is a performing better than I thought now we are definitely making sure that our proportions are in place yes the proportions are working as they should they are in the correct position as well. as you know that's very important and that's the most important aspect of this as a whole this is actually working as it should with no issues and I am really liking what I am seeing if you know what I mean this is working as it should let's go and then see if we want to render it a little bit how that might look like as well now if we are zooming in and then going up moving around that's actually working so let's say for example again you had a clay and then that clay you simply wanted to texture and everything this is actually the speed that you will be working with especially for example if you wanted to 3d print your model you will be working with this type of a speed that you are working with which in my opinion is something definitely doable and it's definitely something that you can work with it's not the worst now is it the fastest that I have seen uh, probably not and especially since I am used to Maya I would argue Maya is faster this this conversation is not about me gushing how much I am used to Maya, but it's more of looking at this. You can take a look at the topology and then you can take a look squares that you have and then making sure that everything is working in place as I said before. So this is a great and this is working as it should. Now let's take a look at something else. Now going back to the sculpting and everything, so this is one a great example of something being sculpted and then the silhouette with it and everything and honestly the performance is excellent. I cannot complain with it at all. For you in order to be able to work with a model, I think the speed is really good. So basically if you are modeling a character or sculpting a character using a blender, I think the M5 MacBook Pro will do just fine and in terms of you building a scene such as the classroom scene as we have seen in the beginning that was working well as well and for the sake of scientific research I went back here so we can actually examine this model but I would like to wrap up my thoughts I think a blender is really good on the M5 MacBook Pro. Is it better than a Windows machine that has a dedicated graphic card? No, but at the same time, keep in mind, this machine can run for a very long time on battery life and the performance is the same whether you are connected to power or not, and then you can finish your work. While that is not the case with a Windows laptop, and I have reviewed a bunch of them, and I do love them. However, by the end of the day, they have a dedicated graphic card, they take a lot of power, and they are not very good with battery life, and you have to use them connected and if you use them not connected that means you are losing a lot of what makes them a great in the first place and that is the dedicated a graphic card now the question is are you only going to use a blender with your mac or are you going to use something else now if you say yes i'm going to use a blender in my nz brush i would say yes go for it but if you are starting the conversation of using something such as unreal engine then i would say the m5 in a general sense any m5 would not be great because if we are talking about unreal engine i don't think unreal engine is the best approach performance that you can get out of this machine but if you are only using blender and blender is your main game i think you will be good to go